Hello there guys. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to solo City Hall, which seems like a pretty hard area to attack, but with how the AI reacts to players attacking now, it's actually very easy to do it. Just follow the simple tutorial, you'll be able to do it yourself. I do suggest doing this with a friend, because it always makes it easier and a lot more fun to do it with a friend. But other than that, let's get into it. So first, you want to spawn at Rhinograd City, and then you want to grab yourself a Jeep or some other vehicle that you can get out immediately from. Side doors, basically. So Humvees and Jeeps are basically it. You can do a little bird, but it's just so short of a travel, it doesn't really matter. Then you want to get on to this street over here. Then you want to stay in the left lane. You're going to drive down this street. You're going to see this like a little opening area. Keep going. See this little yellow line? Pass that one. And then get to this one. Then get out. Cross over here to the left side of it. And then prone. From here, just start shooting everybody that you see coming at you. Make sure that you're on a swivel, watching the right side. If you have a friend, he can get over here with you, or he can go to the right side, because sometimes they will travel onto the right side, but will always head straight for you at some point. Now that guy, he's on the left side. He's going to hit those signs, so it's gonna be fine. They do pass the signs occasionally, but usually there has to be more than one there. Like look here. They hit the signs. It is unfortunately that hit rag spot, but it stops them pretty well. Never thought a, a non-stop sign would stop a smoker. Actually, that, I think that does say stop. I don't know, I'm gonna look at it, and if you speak, uh... I think it's Russian on that side. Yeah, it is Russian on that side. What am I thinking? And what is my aim? There we go. How do I just break all three of those? Just keep shooting. Just keep killing them. Alright. I think they're all dead now. So I'll go ahead and heal up as needed, and then check for snipers. You should be paying attention to the two huts on the top. There's one on the right side, there's one on the left side. Snipers can spawn in there pretty commonly. Then you want to use your third person to see everything. If you hear gunshots and you cross over to the right lane, it's probably from that room right there. And as soon as you kill that guy, fall back to about here, and then prone again. Because for whatever reason, killing that guy, apparently the guy that sits in that window is literally everybody's best friend at the base. And a bunch of people will come at you. Now that you've dealt with those guys, you're going to hear some noises, don't worry about it. They're way over there, running, doing something, I don't really know. So now you want to back up as far as you can to the building, prone, and then just try to take out the gunner guy with as, with as quick as possible. With as quick as possible, that makes sense. Okay, continuing. After you've taken out the gunner, go over to the parking lot area, making sure to third person peek it. Third person peek it is absolutely overpowered, especially here. There guy. In all my testing, that has never happened. I've that tested this thing for like three hours, and that didn't happen. That's weird. Oh, continuing. So just be on the lookout for that guy, I guess, but not very much on the lookout. You want to be a bit more careful than I was being right there. Making sure to check everything and not just trying to yellow into this door, which is the door that you should enter after clearing that, after seeing that this area is clear. If you hear a doorway open, just get to a safe spot. So right here is a safe spot behind the store. 
It could be a piece of cover or something like that. And that is why, because they will come at you right there. Now, you start going through the building. And in, and in this area, you shouldn't need to worry about getting shot at because most of them are dead and they're just now hiding inside. So when you're walking up, you can, as soon as you hit the landing, you can go back a little bit and see if there's anybody on the other side. Now, you want to start on this side because the, this side will land you with the best chances of hitting somebody from further away. Now just run through here. A little tip on these doors. If there's like an open area on closed. Okay, you know, I'll just use it. These doors are broken. Hold on. Let me go use an unbroken door. Okay. So a little bit of a trick with these doors. Uh whenever you go up to this door, stand on the side of the door that has a knob. Because whenever you open it, your left side is gonna be closed because of this wall. But, and your right side is going to be blocked because of the door. But you can still throw a closer peek in the stray area. Do that. You're still protected. Do that. You're still protected. Because you got all state and good reaching. Do the same. Walk up. Watch the right. Watch the other side. Be careful. There can be a POD advance right there. Super dangerous. Even at this range. Do not believe there's any doors on that side. Do, 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 do. That floor is clear. Now go up. You can now just look at the roof now since you've already basically cleared all that. And now I'll come over to the other side, check it again. Somebody thinks it's the mayor. Not in my town. You see, folks, that's why you third person peek. Because if you don't, you have a heart attack. Alright, continuing. Now they're, now they're moving along. Alright, uh, now you can you can see that guy went in the stairwell just from being here. If you see somebody go in the stairwell, they're gonna be right there. Simple game sense right there. Super easy trick to learn. Now you wanna be listening for footsteps whenever you're near the end of it. Whenever you're near the end of the raid, which is gonna be about on this floor. Usually, you can finish the raid just being on this floor. You don't have to be able to go up to the roof. Like, I'm pretty sure that was the last guy. And if you go up to the roof, you don't see anybody, and it's still, like, the red flag, then I would suggest checking at the base of the flag, because usually, though... Well, actually, not usually. I'm pretty sure it's coded into them that they go to the flag after, like, three or four of them are left, depending on what location it is. Then you get your surprise job. Hope it doesn't fall down. The great, and then you have so cleared the city hall. This flag will look a bit different depending on what happens with the coding, if Nora fixes it or not. But other than that, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, uh, turn on notifications to get notified when I upload. I try to upload every Saturday. Uh, other than that, bye.